Okay, today we'll be opening up this used Fram Ultra oil filter, number XG7317. It was in service for 6 months, 4,120 miles, using Quaker State 5W30 full synthetic oil, and came off of my daughter's 2011 Nissan Cube. Yep, the one with the 1.8 liter engine. Let's see how well this filter held up. So let's get started. This is a network. You gotta glue the silicone, be nice and tight, get your inner here. Okay, before we open up this filter, let's take a quick look at it. Date code A12792. You look over here, it'll say Made in USA. It's got 10 inlet holes, silicone and drain back valve, about three, four threads there. You see a metal core with uh, holes and Bypass valve down below. Nitro rubber gasket. Which held up. Held up good. Put that to the side. And let's see if I drained out the oil good. Uh, I think I did. Let's open her up. Okay, let's take a look at her. Silicone and drain back valve. This all looks good. Nice and flexible. Yep. Yeah, it's all nice. Base plate. Good. And the filter element. Bypass valve. This got a setting of 13 psi. I'll put the number of pleats up here. The metal crimp seam. It's a little wavy here. But the pleats look nicely spaced. Nice metal end caps. And this has a micron rating of 99% plus efficiency. And that's at particles above 20 microns. And it's a dual layered synthetic blend media. Okay, let's look at the inside here. That looks nice and clean. Yeah, looks nice. Now let's get some measurements. Get the can. Point four two millimeters thick. filter width 1.87 inches wide actually the cube the Nissan cube calls for a 6607 filter which this one is about an inch longer so they decided to use this one instead all right well I'll cut this open stretch it out See how the filter media looks. Be right back. Okay, so here's the filter media all stretched out. And it's 54 inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness on this filter media. 0.76 millimeters thick. Get it up close. 
This is the synthetic side. This is the cellulose side. You can see the synthetic side is darker. And let's take a look at it under a microscope. You can tell it's pretty dark. It's like the synthetic side just sucked in all the soot and stuff. And let's look at the rest of the filter here. It looks pretty clean, except for it's just dark. I mean, there's no really noticeable soot on top of it. Maybe a little bit there. But otherwise, it looks pretty clean. All right, let's look at the rest of the filter. So you got the crimp seam. This is held up pretty good. Yeah, they, cr they crimped it pretty good. Sometimes they do a lot of lousy job crimping them, but this one's pretty good. Now with this part, okay, we got metal core. This all looks good. It's got a lot of holes. It's smooth. Yeah, it all looks good. Good gasket. Bypass valve. Silicone and drain bag valve. It's all good. Can's good. So what do you guys think about this filter? Well, I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. This looks like a sparkly over there. Let's see. See right there it is. See if it's magnetic. Nope. Eh, I don't know what it is.